A while ago someone commented on my video that the order of effects does not matter, but it actually does. Well he was 100% sure that it doesn't and said that I should ask image line. Well I'm not gonna ask image line, I'm gonna show you instead. So let me show you why the order of effects that you have in here does indeed matter and what difference does it make and why it's important. And then I'm also gonna show you some cool things you can do with routing your tracks to different mixer tracks and then putting effects on those tracks to create some unique effects. You'll see. But first thing first, the order of effects. So I have this loop right here. And it's on mixer track number five. Let's put kickstart plugin on slot one. And let's do this one, just so it's more obvious. The kickstart plugin sign chains the signal, meaning it's gonna be sort of muted in here, and then it's gonna play, and then again muted. You can hear it right now. So it's sort of pumping, right? So now you can actually move these effects with your mouse wheel, just hovering over them and moving your mouse wheel. And you can see slot one up to slot 10. So if we put reverb before the kickstart plugin, let me just show you, let's do a huge reverb and actually let's put it after the kickstart plugin. Now what's gonna happen is the kickstart plugin is gonna affect the audio. So it's still gonna be pumping, but it's not gonna affect the reverb. So the reverb is not gonna be pumping. It's gonna just play throughout the whole thing. I'm also gonna put wave candy here to show you visually on this spectrum analyzer. So now we have kickstart plugin and then reverb. What's gonna happen? The reverb is not gonna be affected by the kickstart plugin because it's before it. <laughs> So you can hear the sound is still pumping, but the reverb is not. Now, if we put the reverb above the Kickstart plugin, now the reverb is affecting the audio and the Kickstart plugin is affecting the audio and the reverb. So now you can hear the whole reverb will be pumping and muted along with the audio. You can see it nicely in here that it's being muted whenever this is down and it's playing whenever this is up. And the best way to hear it is actually in the release once I turn off the sound. So this is kickstart first, reverb second. You can hear the reverb play out continuously. It's just playing out, it's not pumping. But if we switch it, it's pumping after the release. So that is the order of effects. It does indeed matter. So keep this in mind whenever you are producing, maybe try to switch up some effects, see if you get any different results. So that's a really simple demonstration. Now I'm gonna show you something more unique and that is routing your track to a different mixer track and then using that different mixer track to control only the effects and not affect the audio. It's hard to explain, let me show you instead. So here is my second example and that is this little track. Nothing special there. By the way, all the sounds that I'm using here are from my sample packs, Staple Sounds, which you can get, link is below. So you only pay once, no monthly payments, but once you are a member, you'll be getting all of our new packs for free forever. So check it out, we just released some new packs right now and it's on a huge summer sale, which will be ending soon, so grab it now. Let's get back to this. So we have this demo song and now I wanna show you some cool effects that you can do. We're gonna focus on the synth, but you can do this with anything. So the synth is on track six. And I have no effects on this track. Now, let me root the synth to track seven. So we're gonna do root to this track. And now we can see it's rooted to track seven and also the master channel. But go to track seven and let's call this reverb and put reverb on this track lower the dryness all the way down and increase the wetness all the way up. Now, basically what happens is this track right here, the synth, is affected by track seven. So if we lower the volume of track seven, nothing will happen pretty much. It's still getting signal to the master channel and it's going through track seven, but it's muted, so nothing is happening. But if we increase the volume now, we're actually gonna get the reverb from track seven to affect our sound. So let's hear that. Mm -hmm. 
So you might think, cool, but how is that different than just putting the reverb on track six by itself? So let me show you. If we just put the reverb here on track six on the synth, it works, right? But if we want to put effects on the reverb only, we cannot do that because if we put effects on this track, so let's say gross beat, then it's gonna affect the synth as well. So yeah, it's gonna affect the synth, obviously, because we put it on the synth, and it's gonna affect the reverb as well. But if you just want it to affect the reverb, then do it, as I said, root it to a different track, which is the reverb, and we're gonna put the reverb in here. Remember, the dryness should be at zero, and the wetness should be at 100, because you don't want any of the synth signal on this track. You are only getting the reverb signal here. So now, if we put gross beat on it, and we put effects on it, it's not gonna affect the synth at all, it's just gonna affect the reverb of the synth. So this is just affecting the reverb of the synth, not the actual synth. You can hear the synth playing normally throughout the whole thing, but the reverb is doing some glitchy stuff. So the same goes if you use EQ on the reverb, it's only gonna affect the reverb. So the synth will still be the same amount of EQ as it was, but the reverb, let's say, will have tons of high frequencies. You can see we deleted all the low frequencies from the reverb, but the synth still has all the low frequencies. So you can do a lot of cool effects with this, and then we have this. And you can also do this with delay and stuff like that. So if we do delay, once again, lower the dryness. And yeah, that's why the order of effects matters. And also the order in which you root your tracks can create some unique effects as well. So yeah, don't forget to check out my sample packs. They are on a summer sale right now. You only pay once and you get access to all of our current and future sample packs forever. Other than that, goodbye. And I hope that DJ Perryboy now understands that the order of effects does indeed matter.